<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Today is October 14th, and this little guy is eight, no, 12 days old. How old is he? 12 days, 12 days old. Okay, he's 12 days old. And so we're going to show you what a day in the life looks like in our new normal for right now. So mommy needs to still rest. So mommy moves from the bedroom in the morning out to this chair where I direct for a couple hours. And you can see this is our living room. And people have already been up doing school and all of that. We're going to show you in a second. Just uh, Uriah is sitting. Oh, we'll start with the littlest. Littlest is eating. Malachi is somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uriah is doing schoolwork. I am doing drawing. Abigail was collecting laundry, right? Is that what you yeah. just did? Bob. With Bob. Josiah is about to crawl. That's part of his therapy. He will show you that in just a minute. His therapy is not fully up and running, but he is doing his crawling while mommy's still sitting in bed. Or Hi. here. <laughs> Who else is out there? Samuel? I'm not sure what Samuel's doing. Oh, I know. They're not doing laundry. Samuel's doing laundry. So Abigail collects the laundry every morning, takes it to Samuel in the laundry room, and Samuel washes and dries it. Then we all have a folding party. Naomi is in charge of making breakfast every morning, so you'll probably find her out by the stove. And Virginia is probably cleaning her bathroom yeah. or doing her chores in there. Here. So that's that's where we are this morning. Mark will take you around and show you what everyone is doing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. So today we're making a day in the life video, which you'll see after we're finished with it. But sometimes things don't go according to plan. Josiah had a seizure a little bit ago and is now going to stay in recovery mode for a little bit, taking a rest. Um, because of recovery from childbirth, I'm sitting in the chair, which is where I've been eating most of my meals and stuff right now, so that's why I have my toast out here. The kids are all out eating their breakfast, but sometimes things just don't go according to plan and you just gotta <laughs> go with the flow of what's going on. So. That's what's happening right now. Our school day may look a little different. Our chores may look a little different, but we are going to continue just trying to go through our day. So, bye -bye. say bye-bye. Hey. <laughs> hey guys. So what does a new mom do every hour? We are gonna probably find you feeding the baby. That's what happens around here a lot. So. We did a little um, extra video this morning because in between our last video and this video, Josiah had a big seizure where some, actually a couple of them grabbed him. He ended up laying here for a while and resting and he just went out to eat his breakfast. Everybody else is eating their breakfast. Are you guys having chocolate oatmeal? Yeah. Chocolate oatmeal this morning. They get to put on toppings of coconut or peanut butter into their oatmeal. I'm having some toast. A friend brought us some bread last week that, or a couple days ago that needed to be eaten. So I'm having some toast with coffee. Mark is intermittent fasting right now, so he's not eating. And we're going to, as soon as this gets done, we're going to work on chores, finishing our chores so we can do some schoolwork. Our day's gonna look a little different because I have a chiropractor today, so we're gonna do Bible a little early. We'll explain all that when we get there. So, see you guys in an hour. Hey guys, so it's now 8.30. So we're back on the hour again. And it probably looks like I haven't moved, but I have. I actually got dressed since the last video and I went and helped Josiah get dressed. Josiah is feeling much better from his seizure that he had this morning. So he's about to go do his next crawl. He does five crawls a day um, <clears throat> and he waits about an hour in between because it gives his time, his brain time to recover. So since the last video, Uriah and Abigail, with a little bit of help, put together lunch. We're having a taco soup that's going in the crock pot. So they put that together, it's in the crock pot on high, and we will turn it down to low in a little bit once it gets hot. I know, okay. Um, Gideon has been snuggling with his sister after some more feedings. Um, kids have been doing school, so Abigail has just a few lessons left of Alpha Phonics. She might finish today, or at least this week, she'll definitely finish her Alpha Phonics, which goes up through second grade. 
Um, Josiah did a couple math pages, right? Yeah. Uriah got to go on starfall.com, which has um, letters, and so it'll say A is for Apple, and there's some interactive things to do. He was doing that today. We don't pay for the subscription. We use the free part of that, but every day he gets to pick some letters to do just to reinforce the things we've been learning. Abigail is currently on there. She's doing the reading part of it with the short words and things like that. Samuel and Daddy went on a walk that they just got back from and lunch got cleaned up. I mean, breakfast, whatever meal we're on. <laughs> breakfast got all cleaned up. So I think that's everything that's happened in the last hour. I don't know, that seemed like a lot, but not a lot. So we will see you guys again in another hour. said to them, See, I am bringing him out, and you may know that I find no guilt in him. And so Jesus came out wearing a crown of thorns and a purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. He, he, when? When they, the chill, chief, chief, Priests. Priest and the officers. Yep. Say, say, saw. Saw him. They came. Cried. Cried out. Crucify. Crucify him. Crucify yep. him. When Pilate heard this statement, he was even more afraid. He entered his headquarters again and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. So Pilate, on, Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king opposes Caesar. So when Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at the place called the stone. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. So he delivered him over to them to be crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the king of the Jews, but rather, this man said, I am the king of the Jews. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, which says, 
They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. I'm trying to get my socks on so we can leave. Good job. Thanks. Can you zip your zipper? I can do what? Good luck, do that. Not quite. Try it again. Put this down. What? Are you stuck? There you go. There you go. Zip. Yay! Hey guys, so we didn't videotape last hour. You will see some of the things we did during Bible time and singing time and all of that, but we didn't actually do a video at 9.30. It is now 10.30. We're putting our socks and shoes on because mommy has a chiropractor's appointment in just a little bit. Um, somehow, the chiropractor thinks it's from the relaxin from pregnancy that helps um, relax all your ligaments so it opens up your pelvis and everything. He thinks somehow the relaxin did something that I somehow messed up, messed up my neck. And when the relaxin went away, um, my neck is still tight in the wrong position. So it is much better today than it was. The other day I couldn't turn past here. But um, we're all going as a family because I don't think I can drive safely um, where I can't turn my head very far. So we are all getting ready to go to that. Um, I put in a, I don't remember exactly what time I put it in, but I put in a Walmart order this morning for a curbside delivery. So um, Virginia's gonna go get that later today, but I did do that this morning. That wasn't videotaped and I forgot to mention it. So we have a big grocery haul coming. Um, we'll show you when it gets here, but um, I had a lot of stuff that I just got the maximum amount that I was allowed to get because I needed some more canned beans for storage and stuff like that. So we will show you that when it gets here. I should probably be getting a notification soon if there are things that they want to substitute if you've never done Walmart pickup. Um, how our local Walmart pickup works is if they can't get you the item you asked for, so let's say I asked for great value black beans, if they can't get me those, they'll give me a better name brand for the same price. So they ask if you want that substitution or not. Sometimes we don't want the substitution because we don't prefer the brand that they're giving us. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're headed out the door to go to the chiropractor's okay. office. We did Bible in the last hour, and then some people had not gotten dressed this morning. Usually we get dressed either right before breakfast or right after breakfast, but just with mommy sitting in the chair, that's not all happening right now. We're just showing you real life. Yes, he just went and got dressed, and Abigail just went and got dressed. Did you get dressed? Yeah, what's on your shirt? A truck. A truck. A truck. A fire truck. A fire truck. Ooh, and them snazzy yeah. boots. Oh, and baby got dressed. It's a new outfit from Mammy. Are you wearing Mammy though? Baby. Mammy's Mark's mom. She's tired. So, I'm going to feed him a little bit more and then we're going to get in the bus. So, you might get some bus footage in a minute. Where are we going? We're going to an appointment for mommy, a doctor's appointment. You want to see the chiropractor? Yeah. Cool. You like our bus? Yeah, I like our bus. I like riding in it and looking out the window. Do you like all the pretty colors? Yeah. Do we have a lot of pretty colors out the window lately? Mm -hmm. We're sitting here at the chiropractor. All the different colors of cars is what I watch. Yeah, you like watching the cars go by? Mm -hmm. 
one of the big benefits of having a big bus is you can take this baby out of his car seat while mommy's in the chiropractor. We can look out the window, we can see people, we can walk around, we can even take a nap on the bed if we need to do Or use a potty, right? The benefits of a bus? Yeah, he's not thoroughly, thoroughly interested. Hello. Bob, you know what? We're almost home. Yeah. So we went to mommy's chiropractor, right? Yeah. And now what are we doing? We're going home to eat lunch. Ooh, what are we having for lunch? We're having soup. Soup? What kind of soup? Um, taco soup. We're having taco, taco soup. soup. And guess who made the taco soup? Abigail and Uriah. Yeah, Abigail and Uriah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This looks yummy. I'm hungry. Time to eat. Last one out the rotten pickle. Are you, are you a rotten pickle? Hey there, bus driver girl. Howdy. I didn't know there was a club for being in bus drivers, but evidently all bus drivers wave to me, so I don't know what the club is, but I'm usually too focused on driving that I don't realize that they're waving at me. But everybody else tells me that they waved at you. So I don't know what it is. Evidently it's a bus driver's club. Is this thing intimidating to drive? No, not really. There's some times where it's harder when you're like trying to back out of a parking spot or something like that, but just driving down the road is perfectly fine. And this backing up is easy. Except for there's one time when you get down here and you start hitting the shade of the trees that it's harder to see in your mirror the edge of the pavement because of the shadows. But other than that. Do you think the backup beeper is intimidating? Like, if I don't hurry up and get this done, people are gonna to be like annoyed? It is pretty annoying. Beep, but, beep, beep, like that. It's not too, too bad, but it can get annoying if it goes too long. All right, let's go to work. Sounds good. Oh. <laughs> it's 11.30 now. We just got back from the chiropractor and my neck is better. It's a little sore from him working on it, but he doesn't need to see me until next week, which like the end of next week, which he had seen me three days this week. So it's a lot better than it was. Josiah's doing another crawl. Um, people are getting ready for lunch. We had made the taco soup this morning, so Mark can show you that, but that's what they're gonna put on the table. And directly after lunch, we get the little ones ready and I go lay down in the bedroom while Uriah, Malachi, and Gideon take nap time. So that's what's happening. We had a fun ride in town, got to see some pretty colors and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll see what the afternoon brings. We may have our friends stopping by around 1.30. So um, we've got some stuff to show you from friends and family. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. Hello, we're making lunch. So we had some cold rice in the fridge and the older people can warm up their rice, but the little ones, it helps cool down their soup. Because Abigail and Uriah, right? You two made this? Um, so Abigail and Uriah made us a taco soup this morning. And so that's been cooking in the crock pot. So that's nice and hot when we just got home from the doctor's office. So the little ones will have theirs cooled down and then we'll be ready to eat in just a couple minutes.
What are you guys doing? Watching. Watching what? Watching my neighbor get his new lawnmower. Oh, he's getting a new lawnmower coming. That sounds like lots of fun. Lawnmower. The interesting things that happen in our house. Remember any of the ingredients you put in? Uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Kidney beans and black beans. What kind of meat did you put in? We put in chicken. And what did you put in for the liquid? Uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth, that's right. So, was there anything else? No. I think that was it. It's a very easy soup. We can put corn in it. We sometimes put leftover, a couple weeks ago, we had a few leftover potatoes, leftover carrots. You know, those aren't really taco flavors, but we put them all in. So they opened some cans with some help from the 11 year old and poured everything in the crock pot today. So that's how the four and six year old made lunch for us. And it's really good. Check that out. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Hey, so it's 12.45, it's a little past the half hour. You just saw that they got groceries, that's what they were unloading. And I'm in here with the three littles to try to take a nap. So we sit here, we usually turn on a show which happens to be like a cooking show or something like that. And um, they lay down, I have my door so I can watch Josiah whose room is directly across from mine so that um, we can just watch him for seizures. And then once these guys go to sleep, I'll sometimes lay down for a nap. Um, but we have a guest showing up in a little bit. So we might not do it right at 1.30 because our guest might be here. But um, it's somebody who's stopping by for with some baby gifts. So we will see you guys in a little bit. He's not asleep. He's not asleep. He's not asleep. <laughs> not Hopefully asleep. they will go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, we're doing a video. Abigail's gonna come in a second because I need her to get me something. So it's about two o'clock. I got Malachi to sleep. Um, baby did go to sleep. Uriah did not, so he's out here playing. Can you run into my room and get the two phones in case my phone rings so it doesn't wake sure. up Malachi? Go quiet. Okay, so we came outside because our friend Lee stopped by. Lee has a daughter who's between Naomi and Virginia's age, and Lee is deaf and uses American Sign Language to communicate. So her and Virginia have been having video chats to be able to help Virginia learn sign language a little better. So she stopped by with some gifts for baby, which I haven't opened yet. She also had some books for Virginia. So we have a very cute little baby outfit. I wonder if it's, yep, it's zero to three months, so it'll fit him right now. Well, it really won't fit him right now. His toes will fall off. Little, you like it? That's what? a little pocket. What would fit in that little tiny pocket? Right Baby. now, all these outfits are falling off. <laughs> like a ladybug. Yeah. yeah. A ladybug. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got a ladybug. I mean, we got a ladybug. We got an outfit. And we have a quilt. Might we can use that for your bed. A quilt for my bed? Well, I think it's for me. Do I have it the right way? Nope. There we go. A quilt for baby. Oh. So this is the first blanket that baby has. Um, oh, sorry, we were given a blanket for baby. This is the first quilt that's been made for baby. I have a quilt that was made for me by a special friend that we'll do our own separate video on because she made us a bunch of stuff. But this is the first quilt. A couple of the kids have quilts that were made for them by different friends, never by this friend. So this is for baby Gideon. So. I, I just do it this way. I, I did this. Okay. 
So during the last hour, everybody had rest time, which means they go sit on their beds and they do, Josiah plays solitaire a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you like solitaire. Abigail, what did you do during rest time? Uh, play with um, Candyland. <laughs> oh, you were doing that by yourself? Yeah. yeah, they take toys out of the closet and they'll play with them in whatever way they want to. So sometimes it's not, like we have the game Blockus and they'll put the pieces now. just on the board without actually playing. Samuel sat and read a book for a while. So, and then the girls do some afternoon chores and then they can work on more school or whatever they want. So that's what happened in the last hour. I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the next hour. Probably playing outside. So you'll probably see videos of the kids running around. See you in about an hour. Hey, you. I have a question. What? Can you and you go for a walk? Go for a walk? Yeah. Go for a walk? Right, we're going for a walk. It's a beautiful October day and yeah, everybody's walk. outside, so we want to uh, walk around and get some sunshine. What do you think, sunshine? Yeah. And sunshine? And daughter shine? What is this? <laughs> what, is, what, what do you call that? I don't know. Okay, I don't know either. We're going to go for a walk. Watch how far down. Cool. Ooh. That was even farther. Cool. Okay, I'll come. Follow. Wait for me. Make sure I get enough calories for baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's thankful. You want one? Doesn't he look thankful? Did you have a good nap? All right. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? You don't look like you're ready to wake yes? up. Yes? No? Maybe? Still kind of sleepy, like. How old are you? Your brother's still kind of sleepy, too. Two. Two. You too! Good job! Yay. Much better than last night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Silly Vance. Okay, so it's about 2.30. We just thought we had camera issues because I was very fuzzy in the picture, but we realized that Mark's cover wasn't sitting right, and so it was just making me really fuzzy. Mm -hmm. um, so it is 2.30, I see Uriah in front of me playing in the dirt. Josiah's right here. Little Gideon's right here, yep. Get a little baby in there. I think there's, not in there anymore. There's a Samuel running behind me and a Uriah somewhere over there. Not really sure. Oh. No, sorry. Uriah's over here. Malachi's, Malachi's over, over there. there. He found an apple. Oh, I know where Oh, Ab. can you go check Malachi's? I can tell him 
go check Malachi's apple to make sure it's not bruised. So we have apple trees over there and Malachi just goes and picks apples up off the ground and he doesn't care whether they're bruised or not and he just starts eating them. So At least we make 20 or 60 a day. No, yeah. not quite that We make a big person. Seems like he's always eating them. What? Like it has bruises all over. Samuel, take his apple from him. Give him a decent one. Okay, so Naomi and Abigail are in the house making waffles. Um, during my pregnancy, I had gestational diabetes. They haven't told me whether that was a real diagnosis That was yet not or an not. official diagnosis. Um. That's, that's the air quotes. <laughs> even, the, even the midwife, when she delivered, said, okay, you don't actually have a diagnosis. It's written in one part of your chart, but not in another. Mm. So during the pregnancy, I met with, like, I saw a dietitian on the computer. Every two weeks, we talked through my numbers. My fasting number was a little higher than they wanted. My after meal numbers were almost all great. So it was just controlled with diet and exercise. They said, I just avoided a lot of carbs. Not that I avoided all the carbs, just a lot of carbs. But the kids have been wanting to make me treats since <laughs> pregnancy is over that I wasn't able to have with them when they had them. They don't realize that the reason you look so good is because you weren't eating all of those treats. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to eat nearly as many of those treats, and I'm down, I'm actually down like six and a half pounds in the last five days. Because you're thinking about I'm what you eat. I'm actually watching what I eat again. So, anyway, Abigail has been wanting to make me waffles. Bye -bye. But my mother has, so grandma, has convinced <laughs> the kids that waffles need to be eaten with an M&M in every hole. In every single little tiny pocket. So, that means they're not a good breakfast food. And waffles take a long time, doing or, one at a time. Or maybe grandma's just wrong. <laughs> doing one at a time, they take a while. So I told her she could make waffles for an afternoon snack one day where everyone would get one or two waffles. And we're not standing over the waffle iron all morning because if we make waffles, it takes till like 8.30 for everybody to get their fill of waffles. You know and what you could do is you could take a waffle and put M&Ms on half of the, of the little holes and then fold it over and have like an M&M waffle sandwich. And that'd be half as much calories. It'd probably help you, you lose weight. Well, I don't know any time that waffles are a weight loss treat. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, they're in making waffles. And Virginia is in videotaping for her ASL mm -hmm. catechism. So if you haven't seen those, those are on our Facebook page and they're YouTube channel. They're on our channel YouTube channel, yep. Somewhere. Yep, yep. But Virginia's putting the... Truth and Grace catechism. Children's Catechism. Yeah, the first book's worth of Truth and Grace. Mm -hmm into catechism form. So, who made you? God made me. And you can watch all of that on our, our channel. Yeah. So, I hear they have a crane going back there. This could be a dangerous... Over, watch your over, brother's head! I can't see. It's in reverse. It's over here. Anyway, doesn't matter. You don't want to look at them. You want to look so, at her. So, they're doing that. Um, and I don't know what else is going on. Virginia's in charge of supper and I don't know what supper is. At our house, right... Well, before I was... Pre before... <sighs> the very end of pregnancy when I was really tired. Mm -hmm. Naomi made breakfast, Virginia made lunch, I made supper. And I made people, uh, made people, I was gonna say a joke there and it didn't even come out. <laughs> Never mind, I'm the not talking about The very last couple weeks of pregnancy, um, it was more Naomi made breakfast, Virginia made lunch, both of them together made supper with my mom sometimes helping because my hips hurt too bad. Today, I had the littles make lunch, so that means Virginia's in church supper. That's Sweet. what I was going to say about that. But oh, yeah. I'm not sure what she's making. We have taco chicken in the fridge, so we'll probably do something with taco chicken, even if that's just tacos like we had yesterday, but we all enjoyed them, so we might have those again. She has reorganized the, the second fridge. We have a second fridge, and she's made the second fridge into the leftover fridge, like stuff that needs to be eaten up in meals and stuff like that. So Daddy because can find it. I'm, yeah, because I'm terrible about that stuff. Well, we, I mentioned in the video this morning that Mark's doing intermittent fasting. So Mark's food schedule is not the exact same as ours. He eats lunch, supper, and then usually snack at bedtime. Not so, at bedtime. Okay, no, trying not to have as many snacks. Well, at I, I'm just meaning you eat something more of a after meal supper. More after like supper. A so it's like he he'll use leftovers then. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Yeah. And also, so we know where to run, to go to say like, oh, what else needs to be eaten? Yes. Yes, you can go ask Naomi. Okay, so he wants to do a therapy thing real quick. Looks decent. That one looks okay. We're checking an apple. Mm, apple okay. Checkers. Um, so just make sure he doesn't pick up a bruised one. 
So anyway, so the leftover storage also helps us to use up the leftovers. Virginia has been in charge of the food now for the past 12 days since baby was born. She made the Walmart order when he was born and then she's been in charge of food. And so she wants to make sure she uses the leftovers wisely mm -hmm. and not waste them, which is good. Um, as I've had experience with managing the leftovers so it kind of becomes second nature and I still occasionally throw stuff out and then where it, it hasn't become second nature to her she, she wants it in a separate spot so she can find it. I think usually though the leftover disposal ends up being something more like something came up we didn't know we were going to be out of the house um, something weird happened I, it's not usually poor planning it's usually something happened that we just didn't well, have control over. I know sometimes on my part it's poor planning because I'll find something and I'll say oh I'm gonna you know I'm cleaning out the fridge and I found all these things. We're gonna do a leftovers night, mm -hmm. but there's enough chicken. I'll use it for a meal tomorrow. And then I forget to use it for the meal tomorrow and by the next day it's old. Mm -hmm. Cause we try to be careful with our food, using meat within four or five days, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So just to not get anybody sick, especially if our bodies are fighting something or like dealing with pregnancy and stuff. Um, I try to, wait just a minute, okay. I, I just did one. Okay, I try to do it, um, I try to be even more careful if I know somebody in the house is already sick with something, just so we're not One stressing our Samuel just systems. walked by pulling a tree behind him over that way. He's got a stick that's like, I don't know, 15, 12 feet 20 long. feet long, something like that. So, anyway. Okay, they're stirring the waffles. Yes. Well, <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so she reorganized that fridge to be leftovers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get back in the kitchen, even if I'm not doing all the cooking, but help just assess where things are and help. Before I did more of helping with meal plan, it, just even in a, hey, Naomi, there's leftover sausage. Can you use that in breakfast tomorrow? Or Virginia, can you make sure the lettuce gets eaten? That That's your thing. apple, Bob. So. Good? Yeah, I guess that's the end of this update. We will be back in about an hour. An hour. Who knows Bye. what we're doing? Bye. I've been working on giving people waffles. Waffles? Mm -hmm. Who made the waffles? Me and Naomi. You and Naomi made waffles? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing to do. And so everybody's over there eating the fruit mm -hmm. or pastry or whatever it is of your labors? Yeah. That's a good idea. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. Now go get me a waffle. Okay. Arr, arr, arr. everybody this is real life yes I think she'll be on her way home soon okay so it is about 4 30 and we haven't done much the past hour Mark and I sat here and chatted and the kids have been running around playing um Virginia finished her ASL videos and has started <laughs> and has started supper so we have butternut squash cooking and rice cooking and then we have taco chicken to go with it right Okay, and the other kids have been playing. There was a lot of um, playing in the um, leaves over here. They were burying each other in the leaves. And then Naomi's bracelet broke, so she was trying to pick up all the pieces from the grass, but the pieces are really, really small. So that was hard to do. So they're all running around over there somewhere. And just, I had another small seizure yeah, I was gonna say in that. the past hour. I was gonna just say yeah, that. Yeah, but that's all that's going on. So we'll see you again in an hour.
snake. Well, I'm you didn't catch the snake? Mom, you didn't I'm catch the snake. We couldn't I even find the hole. Mm. Bob was helping me look and go snake and points up in the tree and it wasn't there. <laughs> hey, I have one. Okay, I'll get it. What are you doing? And I cleared like all this stuff up once, mm -hmm. but Mom filled it in again. Yeah. Your mommy's little cleaner upper and upper? Yeah. Cool. Good job. You keeping a stock of diapers in here anyway? So now I'm going to keep some diapers in here for Gideon. Mm-hmm. Because that happens a lot out here. Mm-hmm. Alright. So I'm going to start. Here What's doing? Filling my water. Filling your water? What's your shirt say? Uh, I we don't know. We have liftoff. What a shirt. Are you going to all your water? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like tomorrow yeah. and today. Tomorrow and today, sip up and drink all of your water. Now I'll put it back where the water does. Mm-hmm. I sit down from the door. Hey, so it's 5.30. We are eating supper, which is a huge grouping of mismatch stuff that was in the fridge. So we had leftovers tonight. So I had some soup that was left over from a friend who brought us soup on Monday night. Um, there was some cooked carrots. It was really good soup. There was only one serving left, so I got to pick. Cooked carrots, rice, butternut squash from our garden, and then just kind of leftovers that were in the fridge. So there was some leftover pizza, leftover eggs, a bunch of different toppings because our kids like to eat rice with toppings. That's what they call it. So they'll do salsa and cheese or Parmesan cheese or barbecue sauce or soy sauce or Parmesan and ranch. They have all kinds of different choices. So that's what they do. So that's our supper right now. We had played outside until supper time. A couple people are in pajamas already. Abigail and Mal uh, Uriah. And I'm going to go put Malachi and Josiah in their pajamas because around here, bedtime is between 6.30 and 7. So we're gonna start putting people's bed while Samuel and Abigail clean off the table. That's their job, right? I guess that's all, we'll see you in an hour. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, it is 6.30 at our house bedtime, well, it's 6.40. But at our house, bedtime is between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. And so we are just doing final diapers and potty runs and getting the waters, all the things that you have to do when you have kids in the house. And so <laughs> these guys are going to go in our house. Our bedroom is directly across from the boys' bedroom. Mom. And this little guy, we'll get, you a, we'll get you a stuffed animal. Yeah. This little guy is two, so somebody sits in the room until he goes to sleep, because otherwise he keeps finding his way out of bed. Um, and then we have a bed made up here on the floor, because sometimes in the middle of the night he's still, well, every night in the middle of the night, he still wants to come in and be close to mommy. But instead of being on the bed with the new baby, he tucks in down here, right? Yep. So someone's gonna sit with them. They're going to listen to The Pond, which is a Christian radio drama about some animals that live in a pond. They're excited about it because I let them listen to it twice during the week. They would listen to it every night if I let them. But. Yeah, The Pond is uh, talking, uh, 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 talking animals. Talking animals, right? 
Yeah. So you're going to listen to it? We used to listen to it every night. Yeah. And I realized they were staying awake every night to listen to it. So now they just get two nights a week. Thursdays and Saturdays, right? Yeah? Yeah. So so I'm going to go put them to bed. We'll see you again in an hour. These guys should be asleep by then. So it's 7.30. Um, Who's asleep in there? I need Mark to tell me because I wasn't in the voice room. People. Today, so no way. Okay, so it's mostly staying with the two-year-old until he goes to sleep, and he seems to be asleep. I've been feeding the baby and sitting here talking to Naomi about some things we found on her medical records we don't remember. Like, they told <laughs> us we should go to the eye doctor four years ago, and we don't remember her. Like, we've seen the eye doctor. Her eyes are good, but we don't remember why they sent us, told us to go to the specialist. Just things like that. I don't know. Weird things. Can you see? Mm-hmm. Okay, she can see, so I'm not really worried about it. Because um, it was like four years ago. And Virginia washed dishes, Naomi rinsed dishes, Naomi's played with the baby. <laughs> I fed the baby. <laughs> what else did we do? Oh, I'm working on a video for you guys doing a meal plan. And I will tell that you about that at another time. But I was working on putting things in full Walmart order for that. And now we're just going to hang out. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might watch a show. We might talk. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is when the big girls t- get their chances to snuggle the baby. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. We'll see you at 8.30. Oh, daily Is it gonna turn Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Use my heart, Lord. Okay, so we couldn't get other people singing with us. So we just did the video a minute ago, and I was sitting here, and I started singing the song, and Virginia joined me. And then they all were like, oh, is it a flash mob? We will not conform. We will not conform. <laughs> and they wouldn't sing with us. So then Mark turned on the camera. Because I was playing with it. She was forcing him to conform. <laughs> I was. I was forcing him. Did you hear that? <laughs> that? That was weird. Where did that come from? Outside. Somebody's screaming it's outside. Like a hawk or something. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Screaming birds. <laughs> I they were going to okay. explain why there's a hole behind so, me. I'm just blind. The video. I think we have to. I'm a nurse and mama. This is what happens when you've got a newborn who likes to eat and then unlatch and then eat and unlatch. Actually, you get I milk on you. I thought had that last night, but it was actually because her water cup was dripping on her. Yeah, my water cup was dripping on me last night. That was my excuse last night, but tonight it's actually from milk. That's what happens. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, last video of the night. It is 8.45. So around here... <laughs> Mark's moving the camera all around. Around here, um, the girls hang out with us usually until about 8.30. We kick them out so we can start getting ready for bed or just talking or whatever we're going to do. So we've been sitting here talking. The girls are on the phone with their friend Weva and just finding out some stuff from her because they haven't talked to her in a couple weeks. And we are headed to bed. (laughs) We're both sitting here like falling asleep trying to talk and spend time with each other, but we're tired because we have this little boy in our room who decides that sometimes in the middle of the night it's good to get up and scream because he can't nurse when he's got the hiccups or when he's filling a diaper and both of those make him really mad so he'll just get up and scream um he sleeps really well in between those times but two or three times a night we have a scream that wakes mark out of his own sleep and he's doesn't know what's going on (laughs) right mark doesn't wake up very easily so he's like what what so that's it that's our last video for tonight thank you for joining us in our day of day in the life for herding little cows and we will see you guys next time bye